The French Dispatch is Wes Anderson's new film. At this point, he's made 10 feature films. I've reviewed a Wes Anderson movie before, Isle of Dogs. The Royal Tenenbaums, which I just got a chance to see recently. That was a great movie. The Grand Budapest Hotel made my top 10 of 2014 list. So Wes Anderson is clearly a director I respect and really love. I think his movies are awesome. He always gets a really great cast of actors to be in his films. The French Dispatch in particular is more about an ensemble of characters. And there are so many many characters, you never quite know where the story is going or what's going to happen to them. The cinematography is really the strongest aspect of this movie. In addition, the music is really great too. It's the same composer as his previous films. There are a few points in this movie where I remember the use of music, and there is a lot of great imagery to go along with it. It was always interesting, I was always wanting, you know, to know where it was going. It's a very well-paced film, and the way it transitions in between these stories felt very organic. I saw this in a theater, and I thought it was great. It was a really great film. It was incredibly well-made, complex, and intricate in the way it was told and unique. The cinematography, the music, all of the acting was incredible. It's not the same kind of movie that comes out nowadays. It felt different, and that's why I liked it. It wasn't the same Marvel, The Eternals. It was something different. I really enjoyed a lot about it. It's actually really entertaining and creative in the way it's presented. There's a lot of visual variety. It kept my eye moving very consistently. The lighting is really well done during the black and white sequences, and of course, the color sequences are great looking too. Wes Anderson's use of color is great. He's just one of the best auteurs working now, probably. He makes some of the best movies. This is an incredibly unique, engaging film. It constantly goes directions where you don't expect. It's the kind of film that you have to watch again to get everything out of it because there's so much going on and it's so complicated. But I also really do want to watch it again. It was so entertaining, and the visuals were so interesting. I could go on and on about the stylistic choices they made that were just funny and cool and anything you could say. The movie is very creative, and that was great. It felt like a real kind of setting. It was well thought out and drawn in the way Wes Anderson does in all of his movies. I, I really like this movie a lot. The French Dispatch is probably the best film of the year, alongside with the Green Knight and Dune. If you've seen the movie or if you don't care, you should watch The French Dispatch. My criticisms with it are really minor. I really just enjoyed the movie all the way around. It's basically an anthology film, multiple short films that all connect. They're written by journalists who work for this newspaper. The newspaper is run by Bill Murray. You're fired. Really? Don't cry in my office. Owen Wilson, Jeffrey Wright, uh, Francis McDormand, Elizabeth Moss, they all work for this paper and write stories, and you see these stories brought out in real life in Wes Anderson's style, and it was really awesome. One thing you can say about the movie is it didn't treat you like you were an idiot. Violence and nudity, cursing, and like all of these things that you just expect to see. The first story of this film was great with uh, Benicio Del Toro. Adrian Brody is like this art collector. I want to buy it. It's not for sale. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. The second story, it wasn't as good as the first one. Please turn away. I feel shy about my new muscles. And then the third story was actually really great. That second story was like kind of lacking a bit compared to the other two. It just feels like a few short films directed by Wes Anderson that are threaded together with this narrative. If I had to give the French Dispatch a rating, I would give it a 4 out of 5 or an 8 out of 10. I'd say it's closer to a 7 than a 9. It is just everything you want to see in a film because it is so visually well done. The framing and the use of color, the lighting, the blocking of all the characters. What I'm working on next is a best of the year list for 2020. There were not a ton of movies that year, but I still want to make a list and I have enough to say. That might turn out to be a longer video because I'm going to be talking about a lot of movies. And I will eventually make a best and worst movie of 2021 list. French Dispatch will be on the best of list. Hope you enjoyed this and that other review I just posted. I had just seen the French Dispatch and, you know, I wanted to get that out as soon as possible. And thanks for watching. That's all I gotta say about the French Dispatch. <laughs>